I want to share with you what happened here in 2020. Um, it was it was a challenging time, both mentally, physically, and it was a bit of an identity crisis, to be honest for me, because, I mean, I'm a fitness coach. <laughs> you know, I've done all the knowledge. I've done a lot of the mindset stuff, and how the hell can this happen to me? So I'm, I'm looking at this, and I'm like, you know, <laughs> this is not, not me. This is not good enough. This is... I'm better than this and how the hell can this happen you know and you know what am i doing wrong and how can i you know get back get back into it and uh you know a lot of doubts a lot of uh yeah a, a lot of tough feelings and and thoughts and negative things that went, went through my mind at the time and you know that together with the circumstances you know there was lockdowns there was gyms closed there's uh, you know, there's no access to, to equipment, you have to be flexible and, you know, find and make do with things. It's, uh, you know, all that and also being responsible for my clients as well and, you know, trying to be a leader when, when I'm struggling as well. So it's, it was tough, both on the physical side of things, mentally, you know, I was kind of overwhelmed with all the change and everything happening. And even spiritually, you know, I, I uh, figured that, you know, I learned through, through experiences that, you know, I was wavering. I was, I was acting a bit erratically, you know, uh, things would happen. And, you know, when I'm stressed out, I'd go for a walk, you know, and kind of relieve the stress. So things, you know, it would build up and I'd just be like, enough, <laughs> you know. Um, I had the consistency of activity, yes. However, uh, when it came to nutrition, it's uh, I was eating healthy for most of it, and then I, you know, I looked at my steps and I was like, I'm not moving enough, you know. So I'd go out, go out for nice long walks, and um, and then I'd get, get a bag of chips, not thinking much of it, and I'd eat the chips and come back, and it was only you know till I started seeing, hey, look, I'm out of shape. What the hell? <laughs> You know, and uh, then I was like, okay, need to do something about this. So I was looking at coaches, looking at people who are in great shape. And uh, I hired an online coach. The first one wasn't the best. He, yeah. Uh, gave me PDF, gave me extreme workouts, uh, gave me nutrition things, but he never taught me how to track nutrition and uh, the whole bunch, bunch of supplements and also. Yeah, the, the whole process wasn't good. There wasn't enough support as well. Um, the second coach I got uh, referred from a friend and um, yeah, he was good. Is uh, Josh, Josh from the pro team and he helps people get, get fit and get on stage. So, you know, uh, at the time I was considering that because, you know, why not set a big goal and work towards something great, you know? Um, and then over time I figured, you know, that's not really me. I'm more about being able to express myself in different ways, but more creative. And I've done photo shoots before, so I shifted the goal to doing, a, doing photo shoots. And, um, but yeah, it's the whole process. It took time. It took a long time. And um, what helped, what worked is having some structure. So I had the training plan all built out and then I had accountability with the coach and I was checking in with him uh as well as progress photos so that was like being able to check each week and going look i'm here and then the next week i'm here and there's not much change but you know it's uh there's something happening here hopefully <laughs> you know and just doing it each week it helped remind me of my plan helped me to remind me of my goals help remind me of you know why i'm doing this and um I even got a scale, uh, <laughs> the bathroom scale. This thing frustrated the hell out of me because uh, some days it'll be up and down. It'll be all over the place and uh, it fluctuates a lot. And uh, even though the best time to, to do your measurements is first thing in the morning, you know, you step on the scale before you eat, before uh, everything else. So it's more accurate. And uh, yeah, it's still, it, the thing fluctuated quite a bit. And, you know, I'd have off in, on day, so eventually I, I i got rid of the scale you know i didn't think much too much of it i'd step on it and see the body fat percentage uh, on it was very way off compared to a scalp scanner that i, I use so a body scanner that's more accurate uh and then yeah 
I, I wouldn't trust a scale like golf purely a scale and especially i wasn't lo losing as much weight so i was, went from 81 to 77 so over time the trend the scale did show the trend of dropping down uh what's progress photos was the thing that's that's helped me check and say hey look the muscle development is coming through you know the body fat is, is coming off of the of the stomach of the back and uh, i'm starting to see see some good change. So I relied more on progress photos once a week. And then the scale, whatever happens with that happens, I'll just measure it anyway. And um, over time, I could see the trend. Yes, I went down and it also started going up as well. And uh, it went up because I was developing more muscle and the fat was dropping off, which is a good thing if you want a long term progress, because the more muscle you have, the more energy you expend and uh, the stronger your bones and everything else. It's um, yeah. So it's, it was a process. There was different phases. Uh, there was accountability. There needed to be structure. So structure with a training plan structure with nutrition. So uh, yeah, I, was, I, I began tracking my nutrition. So this was really helpful. Uh, so by tracking, I, I got to know the, bag of chips was actually an extra meal and that was the reason why you know I wasn't moving as much and I wasn't training as much and I was having an extra meal so that's why the weight came on so that gave me awareness and uh, awareness is is really key so I've been emphasizing that a lot with my guys and actually built it into our program you know so we have ways to check how we're going so weekly progress photos we've got uh we've got tape measures body tape measures We've got um, body fat percentage you can check as well and, and the scale, the scale being the very last thing because of the reasons I said before. So having those, those checks help, help give us awareness of where we're at in terms of our progress, of our body shape and our performance. Um, and then the plan, the structure of the plan, you know, we're not doing it all in one go. It's not overwhelming. It's structured. It's throughout the week. Uh, so throughout the week and also with nutrition there's uh times of days when you would eat uh and not being too rigid about these things but uh you know having structure in terms of how much we're eating and uh you know learning about foods as we go so i opted for a more flexible approach to nutrition uh whereas before i would do what's to call the kind of carb cycle with um you know protein high protein here and there but uh, i didn't know as much about food so uh, when I'd step out and have something crazy, it would be like a, a cheat meal or a treat meal, I called it back then. But uh, I wanted to know like what what happened, what really happened here. And, you know, then I figured, I learned that, oh, bag of chips, the whole bag of chips is an extra meal. And I learned about other other foods. I learned about, you know, peanut butter has got a fair bit of fat in there. And, uh, and then, you know, learning about the things that I'm putting together and then that helped me create also regularity. So having uh, regular meals and, you know, having healthy meals and then also seeing what's happening, not just during the week, but uh, also into the weekend, you know, when things tend to change, when there's less structure. Um, yeah, it's the whole process. It's, uh, it took time. It's, uh, I learned a lot in the journey and I had to be patient and uh, coming to the mentality of things is, uh, <laughs> I had alarms and stuff for things as well. So uh, wake up alarm as well as, you know, a bedtime alarm, uh, you know, having some structure in the day was, was helpful in terms of mentality is because when things are all over the place and things are, you know, you, you sleep late, you wake up late or you don't get enough sleep and, you know, there's no regularities, no structure to things, uh, you tend to lose it. And uh, our body has a clock, so it tends to sync to, to how things are going. And um, yeah, so learning to structure my days and starting my days in a better way, uh, taking doing self-care. So uh, if you've seen my stories and stuff, I've been talking a lot about meditation and, uh, and journaling. Those are my two go-tos. And uh, I've developed a lot in that way and what's focused a lot on meditation in particular. I've done a lot of meditation apps over the years and they helped. Meditation really helps in, helps you create, helps you be less reactive to things. So when something happens, we tend to just, some, a lot of things can start to trigger us and then we just react. We just say whatever's on 
I don't mind. And sometimes it's not the best way to react to things. You know, the emotions build up and we tend to act in ways we like question it. So I found, you know, a lot of things were triggering me. And um, so meditation, I brought that in and I was working on meditation. And in December, 2020, I also advanced it with uh, transcendental meditation, which is short for TM. They call it TM meditation. And uh, I've been reading the books and hanging with the people and learning from a teacher. You learn one-to-one -one from a teacher uh, over four days and teach you. It's a very simple, natural, effortless thing to do. And um, <laughs> we, we as humans, we tend to complicate things. So they teach us the simple approach and, uh, and give us the structure behind it and the regularity of the practice. And uh, it's been profoundly beneficial. Taking care uh, of your physical, your mental and your spiritual uh, aspects of life uh, really helped me, you know, get it together and get back in shape. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's in terms of the, the mentality, you know, it's you, you, want to, you want to be in good spirits. You want to have checks. You want to uh, have some support, some accountability, uh, someone to talk to. It really helps. And, uh, and some structure just to make the whole process a lot easier because if, you're trying to do a lot of things and, you know, it may be erratic with it, but uh, if someone's checking in on you and going, Hey, you've been consistent. Yeah. Okay, cool. You would be doing this. Here's our plan ahead. So that's, that's something else I brought in this year um, in finding more, being more calm, more centered, more present, more in the moment. I've been able to, to reflect on everything and my studies and personal development and the process and everything else. And uh, I've developed what's called a game plan map. And it has our goals at the top, our why, it has the areas that we'd focus on and our rates of progress, as well as our checks. So to check and see how we're going to maintain awareness. And then um, we have different phases. So different levels of commitment that we'd go for. And uh, depending on which stage we're at, you know, if we're starting out, then we'd be more proactive and just plan ahead and look at consistency if you're progressive then we'd look at prioritizing certain aspects so that we can address any weaknesses or any strengths and if we peak and we built up and we're ready we're optimal we test our limits and go to our peak you look at peak performance which is a lot to do with mentality as well as uh recovery recovery to balance out the activity and um yeah it's it's, it's, it's a process and then week by week, what are we working on? What are we, what are our targets for the week? <clears throat> so it's very systematic, it's very progressive and, uh, and we can see our goal to our actuals and our priorities and everything else. So um, that's our put together for the guys this year. And uh, it's, it's very holistic and covers uh, all five fundamentals, uh, our activity, our nutrition, our sleep, which is an important factor as well. Um, motivation, mindset, you know, to have more goal as well as recovery. So to take care of ourselves, both mentally and physically with self-care routines, as well as physical things that we can do for recovery. So um, yeah, I've built the whole, whole thing and uh, it's, it works beautifully and I'd love to share it with more guys and uh, get, get more, even more guys in shape. If you want to know more about this and, um, you know, about coaching, about a plan, about, uh, you know, getting back into even better shape this year, I say even better shape because uh, we've been able to, to get, get the guys in great shape and uh, even better this year, you know, it's a new year. Uh, you know, one quarter is down, but we still got three more quarters to go. And uh, I can sh I'm sure and confident, you know, in, in one quarter, we can transform you. And in another, we can really gets to, to your very best. So if you want to know more, uh, shoot, me a, shoot me a message and uh, let's have a chat and see if it can help you. All right, I hope this was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know.